Hey guys, I hope you're well. The video, um, it's going to be the first one of a series that I'm going to do about my favourite products um, and they're going to be split into categories like eyeliners and foundations and things like that and today it's going to be about brushes. Um, I've called it my most used so it's kind of like a favourites I guess over the time my most used products in that category. So um, I'm going to start with my brushes. Over the last few years I've tried so many brushes from so many different brands and from so many different price points and I guess in the last four or five months I haven't changed my brushes at all. The ones that I've found have worked the best I'm using now and I haven't found anything better over that time and I don't switch my brushes up at all. All these brushes that I'm going to mention do everything I want to do um, for my daily face. Obviously if I was doing something different there might be another brush I'd use but these brushes are my core brushes, the brushes that I wouldn't be without and the brushes that I need on a pretty much daily basis. So I'll get started in the order that I use them. Um, the first brush I use every day is my Bare Essentials Ibuki brush. I have mentioned this on videos before. Um, it's an unusual looking brush, I've never seen a brush like this. It is short with a flat top and there are a lot of bristles, it's very densely packed. This is basically like a mini kabuki brush I guess. Um, I know that another brand in America, Everyday Minerals I believe, does one a little bit similar but I think it's got more of a rounded top but it's pretty much the same kind of thing so if you can get hold of that it's very very much like this and it's very cheap. I think they ship to the UK as well and I'm going to order one of those because I use this every day and I, I kind of, it would be nice to have a few of them. Anyway, I ordered this from eBay about a year ago, maybe a bit longer than that and I use it at Woo! And I use it every single day. Hang on. <laughs> Me throwing my things around. Um, and I use it every single day. And the way that I use it is to apply my concealer. Um, if you've watched gurus like Pixie Woo or Pixie Two Woo, you'll see that for their concealer to get the best coverage and the best natural finish, they use a MAC 224 eyeshadow brush, um, which I've also found is great, but I think that this is just a little bit better for me, personally, but I know that you probably won't be able to get hold of this as easily, so a 224 is also good. Um, I find that using a brush to apply and to blend in your concealer gets the best coverage, and it allows to effortlessly effortlessly cover any scarring you have or any blemishes or redness it just evens it out perfectly it gets the best coverage it's so much easier and better I find um, than using your fingers or a kind of flat concealer brush this is absolutely amazing definitely try using an eyeshadow brush or if you can get hold of one of these for applying your concealer it will make a world of difference I cannot live without that. I take that every single day in my makeup bag. It's the only brush I take. Um, I rely on it in the morning to apply my concealer before I apply my foundation. And I also use it for touch-ups under my eyes for concealer during the day as well. Um, anyway, on to my next brush that I use after that is my foundation brush. I have used loads over the years. Um, from loads of different brands but this is the best I've ever tried it gives the best finish it's so easy to use it washes amazingly um, foundation brushes are really hard to wash I find product foundation is very difficult to get out of brushes but this one cleans really really well and all the product always comes out and leaves it just how when you bought it when it was brand new which is really good and it's the Coco Bow big fat and firm foundation brush and that's exactly what it is, it's big and fat and firm. As you can see it's very densely packed, it's short and it's fat. I've never seen a brush like this of the same design anywhere else. It makes for a really nice finish, it allows you to kind of bounce. It, it's strange because it's so short and dense it kind of bounces the foundation on your skin giving a really nice finish, you don't need to blend as much. Um, and I really like to use it because it's quite flat and short to pat foundation into my skin. I saw this on Gus Makeup Artist a few weeks ago, how he applied foundation, and I've started doing that and it makes so much difference, it's really good, so go and check his video out for that, but um, you just apply foundation and kind of like roll it and pat it using the flat side of the brush and you get really amazing coverage and it makes it last longer as well um, if you have oilier skin. Um, the next brush I will use is a powder brush and I will probably wait a few minutes um, for my foundation to settle into my skin, I'll blend it with my fingers uh, around the edges and then I'll apply my, um, my powder which is the Guerlain Meteorites um, mineral powder. I really really like that, I've been using it for about 6 or 7 months every day, it's amazing. I will do another review on that because I love it and I don't think I've mentioned it really on here. Anyway, my favourite powder brush, I've used loads, I've bought YSL, I've bought MAC, 
I've used Bobbi Brown powder brushes um, and lots of other brands but this is my favourite out of all of them and it's mega cheap and really amazing quality and this is the Eco Tools powder brush um, it's a little bit dirty because I've used it today but it's a beautifully soft, amazingly soft um, I think they're um, synthetic fibred um, bristles but they are so soft, they wash really well and this is just the best brush for getting a really nice powder effect it's really really big, um, it's so soft like I said you can pick, pick up as much powder as you like, it doesn't suck up all the powder and it allows you to um, buff the powder into your skin to get a really nice um, finish and to allow your foundation to set if you're looking for a powder brush I really recommend this, it's about £10 or so and I really really love this Eco Tools brush um, eyeshadow wise, if I am going to do eyeshadow, which I don't every day, most days I just apply like um, Sin Primer Potion over my eyes just for a, a sheer wash of colour. But if I do want to experiment with colour or apply a little bit of eyeshadow, I will always use my 217 by MAC, always. This is a lovely, lovely brush. It does a multitude of things. I will only reach for this one to do everything, pretty much. I have got about two or three, I've got two here, um, of them and they are really great for packing on colour, they're great for getting a wash all over, they're great for working in the crease and they're really good for blending as well. So they pretty much do everything you need for your eyeshadow. If you have three of them, you can use them for doing the different things in one eyeshadow look um, and I absolutely love them. It's quite, they have quite long bristles, um, there's quite a lot of hairs in there, they're really really soft, they wash really nicely and I absolutely love that as it's the only one that I've found that can do everything and I rely on that every single day when I wear eyeshadow. The other brush that I use on occasion, um, not all the time but when I'm doing a more intricate look um, I will use my Gemma Kid double ended brush. I really really like the fact that it's got two ends so if you're going to go away or something for travelling you can have two brushes in one. The small domed brush on the, on the small end is great for packing on colour on your inner corner or areas that are much smaller um, and also for packing on colour in the crease if you want to do that and then blend it out and then it has a medium sized bit here which is also good for picking uh, packing on colour on the larger areas. I really really like this brush, it's a really good buy, I'm not sure how expensive but I think it's like mid price, reasonable and I really like the fact that it has two ends. So if I'm working for cream with cream shadow, sorry, which I did today, I applied an Estee Lauder cream shadow, then I will always always use this brush for cream shadows, it's amazing. Again it's by Eco Tools. I think it was about £4 or so. It's a really, really great brush. It's marketed as a concealer brush, which is also really good for, but like I said, I use my Bare Essentials. Um, I use this for cream shadows. It's synthetic fibres. Um, it's very densely brushed, um, very densely packed with um, brushes, brush hairs, and it's um, really, really nice. This reminds me of a mini Coco Bow brush really, it's um, the Coco Bow of concealer brushes, it's short, it's fat and it's firm, really really great for cream shadows. Um, so when I've done my eyeshadow I will do my contouring and my bronzing and my blush. Um, contouring wise I have used loads of contouring brushes over the years because I really really like to contour. Um, I have used, let's see what I have, I've used these angled brushes. Um, I have used a small tapered brush, I've used a MAC 109 um, which is like a domed brush which is here and I've also used a flatter and thin brush like this one, the 136 from MAC um, and I've used others from other brands um, like Revlon and things but I've found over the years um, that this one is the best by far. It's by Sonia Kashuk. I know it's not readily available. I did buy it from Space NK last year, I believe, last Christmas. Um, and I'm, I don't think they sell Sonia Kashuk anymore, which is unfortunate because her brushes are great. If you're in America or Canada and other things, um, places like that, I believe you can get hold of them much easier than we can. Um, but there's always eBay and the internet and things. I absolutely love this brush. It is amazing for contouring and it looks like this. As you can see it's very very fat and fluffy but it has a tapered end which I love. The reason I really like this for contouring is because it has a pointed end uh, which means that you can put it in your powder and use the point to get a really really good angle and a really good shape and shadow in the um, crev or wherever you want to get the um, put the contour to create shadow so you use the point to pack on the colour and then the because it's really really soft and quite fat you 
press it in a little bit harder and then you can blend it really well. Whereas the other contour brushes I've used, they put the colour on but it leaves kind of a line and they're not very good at blending and you have to get a different brush to blend it. This applies it really nicely wherever you need it and then it blends it at the same time as well. So I just apply it in a um, forward backward motion using the point and then I press a little bit harder and then buff it to get a really natural finish with my um, contouring powder. The next brush I will use is this massive one by A Design, and um, you can order these online. I bought this from the IMAX show I think two years ago. I use it every single day. It's their XL powder brush. As you can see, it's massive. I've never seen a brush this big. Not even MAC does one like this. Um, I've not seen it in any other shops or by any other brands. It's huge, absolutely huge. But the reason I love this, um, the bristles are really, really soft. I think it's about £30 or so. I paid less from the trade show, but I think it's about £30 on their website. The reason I love this is because it's huge, and it means that you can get the most natural finish from your bronzer. Once I've done my contour, I will use a more glowy bronzer with a tiny bit of shimmer, um, and I will tap this in it and gently kind of buff it into my... Um, cheeks just on top to add kind of a sheen and a bit more bronze glow. I quite like to be quite bronze because I'm quite pale so I like having that bronze on my cheek. I'll use it on my forehead and quickly go up all on my face. Because it's so big it makes it very very quick and easy to get a really nice finish and put a lot of colour all over your face quickly. I'll take it then um, down my neck which takes no time at all and on my decolletage. So this is a really fantastic brush for covering a large space and for getting a really na um, natural finish because you can buff it because of how fat it is. Um, blush wise, if I feel like wearing blush, which I don't every day, um, but if I do then I will use, recently I have been using this, the MAC 131 Duo Fibre Brush. Absolutely love this brush. If you can get hold of this, I'm not sure if it's permanent, but this is fantastic for cream blushes, which I don't use that often, but it's really good for them. It's really great with NARS multiples and things like that. Um, but it's also really, really great for getting a really nice, not too over the top finish for your um, blusher. I really don't like a lot of blusher. I like having a soft colour. I don't like using or having very, very strong colours on my um, cheeks. I find that it doesn't really suit me. So this is really, really great to get a light finish. No matter what colour blusher you use, it allows you to get a really, really more natural and be very restrained with how much colour you put on so you can build it up to however you like um, and I find this is the best at doing that so I used it today with my um, Smashbox Chiffon um, blusher which is all over it but anyway it allows you to stipple it on or to blend it in or to apply it very very nicely and lightly I find that better than using a fan brush for applying a light hand of blush the other blush brush I will use if I want to put a little bit more on and maybe work in a smaller space and just use it on my apples I will use the MAC 109 I love this brush it's a really nice shape it's a domed small short handled um, short I don't know short bristled um, brush, really nice shape, it's very very small so you can apply your powder and then dot it around in your apples and then just work it in it's really really nice to work with a smaller brush I find on my cheeks um, okay I hope that helped, they're the brushes that I use every day, they're my most used brushes um, I will put the information down below on the brushes and where you can get them from and things like that okay guys bye